than Drake and Tiana Taylor. There's no shade because y'all know Tiana Taylor is my baby. Oh, maybe you don't know. Let me take the time to say that's my baby. That's a fine little chocolate lady. Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm getting sidetracked. So, the name of this video is Eddie Long, You're Wrong. <laughs> Eddie Long, You're Wrong. And I'm also going to address Mr. Tracy Morgan in this video too. But let me start with Mr. Eddie Long, a.k.a. Mr. Schmedium Baby Gap Shirt. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so all of you know what was going on with Eddie Long. Um, I'm sure I've made a video about it. I think I have. Uh, long story short, three, it three or four young men came out and, um, you know, uh, decided to press charges against Pastor Bishop, excuse me, Bishop Eddie Long. Um, and um, just basically uh, <laughs> present these allegations that Eddie Long had, um, I don't know if you want to say fondled, not molested, but that he had been having adult relations with these young men, flying them here and there, buying them gifts, you know, hush money, hush hush, and mind you, this is all in the church. So um, the boys came out. And press charges against him. It was a big to do, and um, the end result is, and this is very interesting to me. The end result is Eddie Long um, settled out of court. Generally, when somebody settles out of court, it is because they want to just go on ahead, hurry up, and sweep everything under the rug. They don't want to go to case to trial. It's it's not an admission of guilt, but it's like, all right, I fucked up. Let me hurry up and you know make this disappear. Um, by just, here's a little money for everyone, just let it go. That's what settling out of court is in a nutshell. So, not only did he settle out of court, he gave all the boys a large amount of money, um, in addition to the money he had already been giving them over the years as hush money, and they're also not allowed to talk about it, like, ever again. <laughs> um, and that's one of the stipulations to their settlement. Eddie Long, you're wrong. You're wrong. It's... You about as guilty as uh, OJ was. Come on, son. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> I mean, you could tell Eddie Long was, you know, a little from looking at them damn pictures that he sent them boys. I mean, he had on a shirt that was tighter than mine and was posing like a total queen. So it is what it is. I'm so tired of these black men putting off this homophobia and this fucking hysteria against the gay community when they're sucking weenies on their weekend. Like, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. Um, you know, the gay community, for the, for the most part, we're pretty good about not outing people and things like that, but when you're spreading all kind of BS and spreading hate and bigotry, and then you're doing the same thing as what you're preaching is so terrible, I mean, just have a damn seat. Like it's 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 completely unnecessary. It makes him look like a damn fool. And anyone who follows him is a damn fool. Yeah, it is what it is. And all that I have to say really about that is that people need to stop putting all of their faith in these pastors and these preachers. They are men, and most of them are not even real men of God. They're just men. Put your faith in God. You do not put your faith in a man, a person. A person will let you down every time. Put your faith in God. So that's all I'm going to say about him and his tight ass shirt, his baby gap shirt. So Tracy Morgan. Okay. Tracy Morgan is on the hot seat for going on a homophobic rant at one of his shows last week. I was getting all kind of tweets. I was in the movies and I'm just getting blown up like with links to this post about Tracy Morgan and how this guy that was in the audience was so offended because of what he was saying. I was like, oh, this is crazy. So, um, you know, I gave it a little look, a little look-see or whatever. And um, it was pretty, it was pretty messed up, the things that he was saying. 
you know, that if he had a, gu a gay son, he would stab him and use the N-word, which I'm not a big fan of, but whatever. Um, and he was saying that, you know, little gay kids that are being bullied need to man up. And they're just a bunch of bullshit, you know? I'm not even going to say what I want to say about Tracy Morgan, but I'm going to leave it at this. He apologized, and whether it was a PR stunt or, you know, whatever the case, he apologized. Okay, fine. But I'm still going to be giving him the side eye because I think he's just a homophobe, quite frankly. And, I mean, the apology, whatever. Okay, fine. Accept your apology, but at the end of the day, Sometimes those people, they mean what they're saying, and they just need to be careful about what they say. You know, not everyone hates gay people, and that's another prime example of a young black man out there putting off this hysteria and these negative stereotypes and, you know, this bigotry towards the gay community. I'm so tired of it. I don't understand why we need to act so ignorant. I really don't. <laughs> so, um, but he apologized. And he's agreed to do some work with GLAAD and um, things of that nature. So, you know, good for him. If he is still a homophobe, which he probably is, either he's a homophobe or he's on the receiving end and that's why he's lashing out. Um, you know, I hope his experience with GLAAD is a, is a good one. It's a life-changing one. He sees that gay people are just like everyone else. We're pretty cool. Like, all my straight friends or heterosexual friends they're always like man gay people are so cool you know like i mean i don't know we're all people we all have that in common and a lot of times we lose sight of that so anyways i don't have too much to say on those two chuckleheads get along you're wrong his shirt was like this he was posing <laughs> all right I'll see y'all in a little while.